Nitrogen is the most common element in the Earth's atmosphere, making up over 78% of the air we breathe. It is an essential building block of amino and nucleic acids, crucial for life on Earth, and extremely important for your soil. Plants need nitrogen, but they can't use what's in the atmosphere as is. In fact, elemental nitrogen in the atmosphere cannot be used directly by either plants or animals. It must be converted to a reduced or fixed compound like ammonium or nitrate to be useful. Most fixed nitrogen reaches the soil surface as nitrate. Plants then convert the ammonium and nitrate into nitrogen oxides and amino acids. Plants use these to form proteins and other molecules. But instead of getting nitrogen from fixed atmospheric sources, plants can assimilate nitrogen directly in the form of nitrates present in the soil. These nitrates may come from natural mineral deposits, artificial fertilizers, animal waste, or organic decay. Because nitrate isn't the most stable form of nitrogen, it doesn't want to stay in that form and typically follows one of four paths. One, it goes through the dentrification process, facilitated by microbes that result in the nitrogen being lost to the atmosphere in the form of nitrogen gas. Two, microbes in the soil, which can uptake nitrogen faster than plants, consume it and prevent the nitrogen from leaching until those microbes die. Three, plants absorb it and use it, which is ideal. Or four, it can be lost due to leaching or gasification if the pH is higher than 7.2. These are not ideal options. In many places in the world, artificial nitrogen fertilizers are applied to croplands in massive quantities. While this increases yields, it results in nutrient runoff that accumulates in local waterways. This is that fourth and least ideal option that I was talking about. This nitrogen accumulation allows bacteria in the water to thrive but pass the ecosystem's capacity. The bacteria then deplete the water's dissolved oxygen to the point that all the organisms that need it die. This is called eutrophication. The well-known dead zone areas in the U.S. Gulf Coast and the Black Sea are caused by this polluting process. The need for nitrogen in the soil, but threat of eutrophication and other ecological issues leaves scientists, farmers, and ecologists with a conundrum. How do you grow enough crops to feed the growing human population without adding so much nitrogen to the ecosystem that you damage the environment? This is a complex issue that will take a lot of different approaches to resolve, but at Southland Organics, we focus on one potential solution. When nitrogen is combined with highly water-soluble humic acid, carbon, and high levels of nitrifying bacteria, it has been shown to become a structural component of humic substances as a stable organic material, which prevents it from leaching through the soil. We can achieve this balance with our humic-based soil amendments like Genesis. To find out just how much Genesis can prevent leaching, we conducted a study on soil treated with Genesis, soil treated with Genesis and the recommended amount of fertilizer, and soil treated with just fertilizer and no Genesis. We contracted IIS Labs and the agronomist Sherry McLean to perform a leachate test. Leachate is water that has passed through or leached out of a solid, in this case soil, and contains some of the elements of the solid it passed through. Here's what IAS Labs found. Quote, in this situation with treatment three, fertilizer in Genesis, the extra application of soil microbes from Genesis was able to reduce nitrate loss from leaching by 45% compared to the soil with no fertilizer or Genesis, and reduce nitrate nitrogen loss from leaching by 23% compared to the fertilizer applied with no Genesis. That's right, according to this test, Genesis was able to prevent leaching by 45% compared to untreated soil and 23% compared to fertilizer alone. Why is this? Genesis enters your soil with a specially designed combination of humic and fulvic acids and a diverse population of bacteria that all work together to improve your soil's ability to hold on to and promote uptake of nutrients. The humic and fulvic acids in Genesis increase the net negative charge of the soil, which means it can better hold on to nitrogen during its positively charged state as ammonium. The microbiology in Genesis consumes the ammonium, holding nitrogen in their body until they die, at which point it can be taken up by the plants. Although controlling nitrogen leaching is a much bigger issue than us, we're happy with these results and feel good about Genesis allowing us to do our part to provide a sustainable alternative to conventional soil products. If you have any questions for us, you can email us at success at southlandorganics.com or call 800-608-3755.
Don't forget to subscribe to be the first to know about more lawn and garden info like this. And as always, thanks for watching.